Good morning, YouTube world. My name is Kelsey J. Let's do a first impression of Desi Skin Agua Fresca. All right, so this is not the first Desi Skin product I have purchased. I have the Cloud OKC vitamin C serum, and then I also had the Do Me Over. I went through that like so quickly. I have not repurchased it because I like to try different setting sprays, but I'm opening this up. Look at how pretty it is. Okay, got my pick slip. Noise. So, um, oh damn, it doesn't say the price. That's okay. I think, I can't remember how much it was. It was not cheap though. I will tell you that. So, it's all wrapped up. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Throw it in my pile of junk. Okay, so this is how cute it is. Look at that. Agua Fresca Thirst Quenching Gel Cream Moisturizer. Okay, it's a gel cream. The back says, this refreshing gel cream moisturizer is formulated with niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, fruit antioxidants, and ceramides to deliver immediate and long-lasting hydration. It gently melts into the skin to help improve uneven skin tone, soften fine lines and wrinkles, diminish dullness, and strengthen your skin barrier for an instant glow. Use it daily after Claude O'Casey Glow Serum for a fresh, youthful complexion. Use it under makeup for the perfect no pill application. Awesome! So that's what I was gonna try out. I wanted to see how it would work underneath makeup. So, as the directions suggest, I'm using my Glow Serum first. I haven't used this in a while because my skin, when I first started using it, I was using it every single day and my skin was so sensitive to it. So I've stopped for a while and I used it just the other day right before bed and I woke up and my skin felt fine. No red bumps or anything. So I'm going to try and work my way up again. Maybe you use it once or twice a week and cute. All right. Now let's open up this bad boy. God, Desi is the queen of packaging. Like, look at this. Her packaging is always so on point. Okay. So I've seen people use this. I think you just press Like this. <gasps> nice. That is so awesome. I freaking love that because you can do it with one hand. I feel like it keeps the bottle clean. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This feels so nice. Okay. Okay. So, first impressions. Um, it's not so jelly that it's like watery. You know what I mean? It is soft. Wow, it's really soft. It almost feels not like an oil, but it feels very, very hydrating. I'm putting it on my eyelids now. Wow, it's so soft. Guys, I don't know how else to describe this, but it's just soft. It feels so nice. Holy crap. Okay, Desi is going for luxury skincare. Like, she's not just influencer skincare, she's not just YouTuber skincare, she is going for luxe. There's no scent to it. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Like, I literally want to put it all over my body. It feels so nice, and you can just keep blending it in. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit extra because I do get dryness, like, right in between my eyebrows, so I'm just putting the tiniest bit right there. Oh my goodness, it is so smooth and soft. This feels so nice, oh my gosh. Okay, great job, Desi. I'm gonna continue using this. I wanna see like how it works, you know, after weeks of using it. I wanna see if there's any improvements to my skin, but so far, oh my gosh, look at that glow. And it just feels so nice. Like I wanna put it literally all over. Desi, you better make like a body cream or something because holy sh beautiful. Okay, usually I go with Auric. It's my next step. So let's do a little glow lust. I'm just doing the tiniest bit because we're already super dewy. So I'm just tapping to give us a little bit of extra glowy glow. Wow, it just, oh my gosh, that moisturizer is so amazing. 
I'm shook and I do not use that word lightly. Wow, so nice. It's literally so smooth. I just feel, oh my gosh, even on my lips, amazing, amazing. I really feel like Samantha Ravindahl and Desi Perkins have the same ethics when it comes to creating products and I love that because their morals and ethics align and stand with mine and so I'm also going in with my Auric Plush Ritual. This has been one of my favorite products since I received it. I don't use, I don't use the little spatula very much. I've, I've found in my personal experience that it applies way too much product so, but you can tell I've put like pretty much, I put a dent, I've put a dent in this and it's so nice. I feel like it plumps my lips up, keeps them nice and hydrated. I even one night, I put it like on my crow's feet, my eyes, like right here, just to see, you know, like there's like ceramides and I think niacinamide or something in this too. So I was like, okay, if it's good for my lips, it should be good for the rest of my skin and yeah, it's been pretty awesome. So, next I go in with my Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the Skin Blurring Tint. And let's see how it lays over. I just feel like, wow, I feel like that moisturizer really sets you up for such a great makeup application. Like my skin does not feel dry at all. I feel like this I feel like this skin tint is going on so much smoother than it normally does. I mean, this is a first impression, guys. So, as I use the moisturizer throughout the week and the month, I'll keep you updated. But so far, I'm amazed. It This is like holy grail. <laughs> Literally holy grail type product. I think, okay, so I think the price on this was like $50. But I ordered through Instagram, so I got a discount, so it was like 45 It's not cheap for a moisturizer. <laughs> like, compared to this, like, this is like 10 bucks, if that. I don't even know. So. Now I'm using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. First, though, I'm gonna mist my sponge with Mist Thing from Rem Beauty. I think it's kind of ironic though that this is blue and it smells like lavender. It should be purple. I mean, that's just me though. Amazing. Literally so gorgeous. Holy shit. I'm amazed. I'm literally amazed. Desi, you're killing it. Killing it. Okay, now I'm using Jaclyn just to highlight those inner corners. I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose and I think that's it. Like my skin, I feel like my skin is looking so good right now. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna set with a little bit of Laura Mercier, like just the slightest touch because I don't wanna lose my, my dewiness, but I do wanna make sure that I don't get any creasing, so. Okay, I feel like I am getting a little bit of separation right next to my nose, like right there. But other than that, that's literally the only thing I'm noticing so far. There is no pilling. Okay, so let's do some blush. <clears throat> So I've been keeping my blush like almost right next to my eyes lately, just so it like lifts, you know? That's really a trend now I've noticed. But I haven't really been wearing bronzer, mainly cause I haven't been spending time out in the sun and it just doesn't, I feel like it doesn't look natural on me. So especially if I don't have like some sort of color to my skin, I feel like it doesn't really look natural. But I'm going in with my Revolution Pro New Neutral Palette and starting with the shade Neutral, just doing that as a base coat all over my eyes. Next, I'm gonna go in with Calm, which is like a purpley, a light lavender shade. This is 
Dude, you guys, I need to get like a new go-to look. Maybe once summer comes around, I'll start doing more bronzy looks, but right now my go-to has been purples, pinks, mauves. I just feel like they look so fresh. So that is down. I'm gonna go in with shadow, which is like kind of a, it's this shade right here. It's like a dark, like a cool tone purple. And just on the outer corner, kind of defining that lid a little bit more. Cute. I feel like I need a little bit more definition on this side. It's so funny like how not into perfection I am right now. Like I just want, I just want to slap color on. Like I'm not interested in doing the full cut crease and all that kind of shit, you know? I'm like, give me just a nice wash of color and the shimmer or something and I'm good. And I'm going in with Jazz It Up, which is like a cute little purpley shimmer, just as a topper. Cute. Next, I'm gonna do Majestic, which is this deep, deep purple, and I'm gonna use that as like kind of an eyeliner-ish. See now, if I do do a liner, this is how I do it. I just use a shadow as an eyeliner. Otherwise, the creamy eyeliners, they like literally seep out the corners of my eyes. So, like so. Cute, yeah, just gives like a little bit of definition on the corners. Okay, um, now I'm going to set with e.l.f. Micro Fine Setting Mist and do some mascara. Let me brush my eyebrows. I'm not going to fill in my brows today. I'm just going to brush them. Okay, got a little couple little smudges of mascara, so I'm just gonna take my spoolie, sweep that away, and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Rem Beauty, Miss Mercury, and we're gonna use instead of a normal fan brush, I'm gonna use this for highlight today and just just kind of tap right there on the high point of my cheek. Just like so cute, and that's the finished look. Okay, so first impression of Desi Skin, amazing. Like first impression, amazing. I literally can't say anything else, like anything better. I don't know how else to describe it. It feels so smooth on your skin and I can already tell it's going to help with those fine lines and wrinkles that I have like around my eyes and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to see what this product does over the next few weeks. I'm probably just going to use it in the morning. I don't know if I'm going to use it at night yet. We'll see. Maybe I will. I'll let you know what my skin regimen is with this and I'm also going to use it in combination with the vitamin C serum. So I'll keep you guys updated and make sure to like and subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. To deliver immediately. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, of course. I like stuck the brush in my eyeball. I can already tell it's gonna. 